the dissolve. It can be high art. Or not. It is poetic. Or not. draws attention to itself. Or not. In the hands of lazy filmmakers, the dissolve can be a crutch, which is probably why it's gotten a bad rap and used much less than in the past. It's been years since I actually used one in a film. That's not to say that I would never use it again. As an editor, I see three reasons to use a dissolve. You show it to your husband. He likes it so much, he hangs it on your bedroom wall. I wouldn't let him. Why not? I should be in there for him. The first one is simple, to show passage of time. One more question. Although nowadays the jump cut has really become fully accepted for that purpose and often feels more natural. The second reason is to get inside the character's head. That's a big one, and when done right, it's powerful. The third reason to use a dissolve is my favorite, because it takes storytelling emotionally to another level. It's the match dissolve. To create what Russian 20th century filmmaker Podovkin described as parallelism, often used to jump from one time period or location to another. What exactly was that? It was 1783. 1783. You don't necessarily need a dissolve to achieve parallelism. However, there are many films that use the match dissolve for that purpose and to perfection. So the next time you blend shots together, think about actually who cares. You do what you do and if it works, you'll know. The audience will tell you, because unlike a regular cut that is often invisible, a dissolve will draw attention to itself, which is why a dissolve is possibly the hardest cut to pull off. I asked you what you thought about using dissolves in your work. Nick says, I use them when I think it calls for them. My director once said, don't use dissolves, they're old fashioned. I actually showed examples from recent movies to change his mind. And Kyle says, I get confused seeing them used for every other transition in certain blockbuster films. For me, it gets distracting after a while. Zhao says, the editor of masterpiece Lawrence of Arabia explained that the famous cut from the match to the sun was an accident. Arguably the most famous cut in movie history. <laughs> Originally, this was going to be a dissolve. It was not going to be a straight cut. Well, we were in film in those days. Right. But because it was film, it was cut together with the old China graph marks on it. And we saw this cut together like that. And David and I both almost at the same moment looked at each other and said, that's a wonderful cut. Wow. So you got to be careful when you're dissolving something. It will, however, dissolve metal. could take a bath. So there's that. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>